go through your music faster than you usually do and then zero in on the 10 or 20 percent of the piece that you can't play at that faster tempo. Hi, this is Robert Estrin. This is livingpianos.com with two ways to solidify your musical performance. So you have a piece of music, you've worked on it for a long time, and you could play it pretty well, but not every time. Maybe when you're alone at home, it comes out perfectly sometimes, and then for no reason you can even discern, things fall apart, it's just not really dependably solid. And you wonder, is there anything you can do about that? Well, yes, and I'm gonna give you two completely different methods for solidifying your musical performance. Now, the first one is one I've talked about many times. It's one that I embrace on a regular basis and I do with all my students, which is you have a piece of music you've learned and you can play it pretty well, but it's not really a solid, or maybe once it was solid and now it's kind of degenerated and you don't even know why. And you're wondering, how do you get it back on that high level again? Well, whether it's a piece you're playing with the music or a piece you've memorized, Get out the score, put it on your music rack, get out your metronome, take your foot off the pedal, and play slowly with raised fingers. Now, what's this about raised fingers? When you play with raised fingers, it trains your hand which fingers are down and which fingers are up so that everything is exaggerated. Because if you play a piece over and over again, after a while, your hands just naturally go to the right keys. But then after a while, you've done it so many times, you don't even know what they're doing. They're kind of doing it all on their own and you lose sense of the intellectual understanding of what you're doing. But when you take out a metronome and you play something slowly, I don't have a metronome right on the piano here, you have to forgive me. Uh, I've got a new one here, but I just ran out of a battery. <laughs> but take out, let's say it was the, um, and I don't know the score, but so I'm, I'm failing all the, all the tests I just outlined for you, but take out a score and I just want to show you what playing with raised fingers means. digging in every note with precision to the metronome, following the score, it ingrains the music into your hands, into your ears. It is such a great way to solidify your performance, just going through slowly like that. You'd be surprised going through your music even just two or three times, even once like that, and obviously, if there's any part that you can't play perfectly at that slow speed, it's going to show up like a sore thumb because it's like putting your playing under a microscope. When you play that slowly and definitely, anything that isn't there is going to be pretty darn obvious. So that's a great way to solidify your musical performance. Refresh it if you once had it on a high level. Now, the other way I'm going to show you is completely different. You take a piece that you can already play and you want to solidify it and you're wondering, you know, every now and then something falls apart, but you can't, you can't even figure out what to practice because it seems to be random places that fall apart. Well, take a piece you can play and play it faster than you usually do. When you miss something, that is the weak point. I missed something early on in that I didn't stop for the sake of this video. But 
If I was doing this practice technique, I would have stopped right there and said, what's going on? Solidify that. Go through your music faster than you usually do and then zero in on the 10 or 20% of the piece that you can't play at that faster tempo. Those are the weakest parts. Boom, you've just zeroed in on what to practice. Because a shotgun approach to practicing is not very efficient to practice equally on everything. But how do you know what to practice? And this is a great way to discover what needs the work. Take it a little bit faster than you usually do, and whatever you can't play at that speed, practice those sections in innumerable ways. You can practice hands separately, you can do progressively faster metronome speeds, starting from a slow tempo and working your way up. You can do all sorts of practice. You can practice little snippets and put the little snippets together. There's many different ways of practicing, but just identifying where to put your practice time in, this is a great technique. So to recap, there are two ways you can solidify your pieces of music that you can already play. One is raised fingers with a score with a metronome and no pedal, really delineating and articulating everything with precision, staccatos on the wrist, raised fingers for the finger work, really sinking in and feeling every key and every finger. And the other way, the polar opposite, play everything a little bit faster than they usually do and see what places you can't keep up and focus your practice on those sections. These are two tips for you. If any of you have suggestions for future videos, keep them coming in. I love it. Ring the bell, the thumbs up, and subscribing helps the channel reach more piano lovers around the world. Thanks again. I'm Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com, your online piano resource.